Greetings, Kerbonauts. This is Kerbal Space Program. I'm Bob Fitch, and today I'm bringing you a follow-up to my straight-to-orbit rendezvous. Surface-to-orbit, surface-to-space station, however you want to call it. Uh, this goes right up from the launch pad and rendezvous with somebody that's out in an orbit. And I did a tutorial where I showed how to do that, and some questions came up of how can you get it to be automated. I showed MechJeb, but can MechJeb do it automatically? It sure can. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show how to get MechJeb to basically do all this for you. So without further ado, let's go down to the launch pad and get this thing started. The first thing we need to do here is go to our MechJeb tab and select Ascent Guidance, Maneuver Planner, uh, let's see, Rendezvous Planner, and hold on, get that out of the way, and Smart ASS. Okay. So before we can launch, we need to select our target right there. I have that and see how it's actually coming into the close point where uh, we actually would want to launch right here to meet with it anyway. I'm going to intentionally fast forward and let this thing go by because I'm going to show that with this automated ascent, it doesn't really matter where it is. So over here on the far side, this is absolutely where you would not normally want to do this sort of a rendezvous attempt. And that's exactly why we're going to do this rendezvous right now. So in the ascent guidance, you need to select orbit at altitude. I have it at 75 because I know that's going to be outside the atmosphere. Uh, the prevent overheat will make sure the engines don't explode, limit to terminal velocity so that we don't go faster than roughly 200 meters per second in the lower 10 kilometers of atmosphere, where we would be wasting our fuel just fighting against the atmospheric drag. Uh, these Corrective steering, auto staging, auto warping, all those help MechJeb to keep control of the craft. We also need to engage the autopilot. Okay, so when we actually launch this thing, because of that, it'll automatically head up toward our target. So we have our target selected. We have our engaged autopilot. Now it's just time to launch. Right here, I don't have to do anything. I'm moving the mouse around just to take a look at what's going on to keep myself busy. Uh, but it'll handle everything from here on. I'm not going to actually touch any of the controls. I'm going to fast forward, and when we come out of the fast forward, that will be the first time that I actually touch any meaningful control. I might throw out the solar panels at 40K, and that's about it. So here we go, fast forwarding. So the autopilot has disengaged. You can tell because it says in here, engage autopilot again. And over here, it had said auto until it went off. So now the spacecraft is back under our control, but not for long, because the next thing we want to do is, we don't need this anymore. We want to hit intercept with home and transfer and then execute next node. And after that, I no longer need that window either. So again, I'm going to fast forward here because a home and transfer is the most efficient for this particular orbital change that we're trying to do to go from here over to meet over here. However, that means that there is a launch window associated with that efficiency. And you can see here it's an hour and 30 minutes. That's quite a few orbits. So we're going to fast forward to get up to where it is making its burn. Again, I'm not using any controls. The only thing I've done so far is clicked a button few buttons in MechJeb and hit spacebar as far as Kerbal Space Program is concerned. So here we go, fast forwarding. Okay, that maneuver is now complete. So theoretically we should have a pretty close approach. Let's see what it did. It put us at 2.9 kilometers. So the next thing, if we're going to completely automate this, we need to find in the maneuver planner here, match velocities with the target at closest approach to target. 
So if we create that node, we'll see that over here it's going to make another maneuver which is going to burn 64 meters per second and then essentially match the velocities. The next closest approach is over here. After that, that doesn't really matter because we're going to be so close, we're going to be at 2.9 meters over here. And then we'll switch over to using Smart ASS. So I'm going to execute that one, let it do its thing, and fast forward once more. Okay, it's done with its latest maneuver. Now, theoretically, somewhere out here is the space station. So to find that, go to your Smart ASS and hit Target and then Target Plus. Wait for your spacecraft to stop moving and then follow its nose and that's where the target is. Next thing you want to do is hit Relative Minus to make sure that you've actually stopped all of your velocity in whatever direction you're going. So a little thrust right there. Now back to target plus. And at this point, you are going to have to do most of this yourself, uh, but you can do it through the Smart ASS window mostly, as well as a little throttle. So I'm just going to throttle up and then throttle down and then hit relative minus. And when we get to our target, then we just uh, throttle up again, slow down the target velocity, let it track, and you can see here we're 500 meters away. Target Plus tells you where you need to go, right up there. So now if I don't hurry this, if I do a little bit of velocity, and I watch here, I can see two mi minutes, 300 meters, closest approach and keep going toward that target when this gets to about one minute then I know that I can hit relative minus and then just wait the 40 seconds until I get close and then apply thrust to stop in that direction and you can keep on doing that so you don't have to use your controls this is a little bit harder I think than just trying to fly toward your target uh, where you lead it a little bit, but this works too. So if you want to keep your hands off of the keyboard for the most part and just use these controls, that is totally doable. And here we are at the space station. This isn't a docking tutorial, so I'm going to stop right here. Uh, that's basically it. So hopefully that helps you out. If you're having issues with your rendezvous still, then use that automated method, get an idea of how MechJeb is doing it, and then try it on your own. And it'll probably be really helpful just to see how it's gotten to where it's going, and then uh, that'll t let you know what you need to do. So thank you for watching, and uh, good luck with your rendezvous. See you later, Kerbonauts.